Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome to my next Let's Play series, Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. This is actually a game that I've wanted to Let's Play for a while, for the pure reason that it's just simply a lot of fun. And the game's telling me to press any button, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, we're ready to go. Um, I'm going to talk more about this game as we go along and talk about why I like it so much, but uh, there's a little autoplay that happens if I was to just let it keep going, so I'm going to... Uh, go ahead and just keep on going and we'll get started right with the game. All right, uh, first thing we need to do is name our character. Now, uh, our main character's name is actually Benjamin. So we're going to go ahead and uh, use that name here. So give me a second and put that there. And all right, so let's get started with the game. All right, oh, earthquake. That's not a good way to get started. Ah, the Hill of Destiny. Of course, what I, why else would a hill be there? His village is gone. Yeah, what's going on? Uh-oh, gotta head to the second level. Follow that old dude who seems to be riding a cloud. All right, fair enough. Press, how do you know that I'm playing a game and press B? All right, well, let's go ahead and jump. Whoa! So right away, you notice um, that there's a jumping command, just like Final Fantasy Legend 3. There's actually a lot of similarities between this game and Final Fantasy Legend 3, which is another reason why I like this. I'm kind of following up to one of my older Let's Plays, but we'll uh, talk more about that later. Ah, the Focus Tower, and I like this music. This is another thing I really liked about this game, is the soundtrack is very cool. And uh, you'll hear that as we go along. It's very clever, too, in some spots, so we'll talk about that. Okay, the Vile Four will steal the power and divide the world behind four doors. And then, uh-oh, the prophecies come true, and a knight's going to be coming. Let me take a wild guess as to who the knight's going to be. Oh, man, that's not good. But, and, of course, there's four crystals. And, uh, you know, as with any, or with almost with any Final Fantasy game, there's crystals involved, so... The people are in desperate need of help, and apparently, uh, we are the only one who can save the crystals in the world. Me? Well, who else would it be? Yeah, I mean, you're the only guy that happens to be around, and you're the first guy in the video game, so you have to be the knight. Uh-oh, it's a monster! Crap! Let's take him on. And who do we get to face? A behemoth right away! Oh, man. If they're like any other Final Fantasy games, behemoths are hard. Oh, but he can only do six damage. Okay, that's good. And I can uh, attack him with a steel sword. All right, well, let's just go back and forth a little bit. So another uh, similarity you'll notice right away is the battle system. Whoa, he lost his horns. Man, I must be doing some damage to him already. Sweet. Um, you'll notice that, again, he's, you know, my main character. Whoa, he just got tough. Man, look, at his eyes got red and his mouth opened. But he's losing some more of his skin there. Wow, he's just disintegrating in front of our very eyes. And, all right, we got him. Oh, we got 84 experience. Wow, for one fight? That's pretty good. But only three gold. Well, that's not good. Seems at last I found a true knight. <laughs> but you said you were sure I was the one. More of a guess, but... Ooh. Yeah, where can we find the crystals? All right, let's just do this. Hey, it's up to you to find them, of course. Uh-oh. To the level forest. Off he goes. Ooh. <laughs> hey, who is that guy? He seems to be riding on a cloud. Where can I get one of those clouds? All right. Oh. And now we're off to the level forest. Very good. All right. Now here we are in level forest. Hey, there's that old guy again. Let's talk to him. Oops. Wrong button. Ah. Okay. What do you think we should do first? Yes. Save the crystal of earth. Sounds good. And whoa. Off he goes. Ooh. Just like in Wing Commander. You know, he can just launch everywhere. So... Okay, well, let's walk around a little bit. Now oh, we got some trees over there and a little brown dude and some more trees. And it looks like there's a treasure chest over there. So, Okay, well, let's go talk to this old man who seems to be blocking the way. The boulder is blocking me. Will you shove it aside? Sure. And now to get a random, well, just jump over and push the boulder up. Okay, if we want to go through the forest to find Kaylee. All right. And a, tr a tree wither. For some reason, we need a tree wither to access... Uh, the rest of the world. All right. Well, it looks like all we can do is head over this way, so let's do that. And now we have access over here. So uh, another thing about this game is um, in order to get access to new parts of the map, you have to escape the previous part um, through a certain direction. So, you know, I had to go out through the right way to now get access to the right there. A couple things I want to do before we get started is I want to customize things a little bit. Uh, so another thing that's really cool is you can see there's a little uh, life bar that's either yellow or red, or depending on how much life you have. And now you can either use it that way, but that's kind of boring to me, and I don't really like that. It's confusing. So what I'm going to do, well, it's not boring, it's just confusing. So 
I'm gonna switch over to the figure uh, so that I can actually see uh, how much life I have. It'll be easier for me to see how much HP I've got that way. Okay, now, uh, as far as my mesh and speed goes, I'll go two a little bit. And window color's fine, and we should be good. Okay, let's check out what we got here. Whoops. Got some items here, just the tree weather looks like. No magic left, but I... Uh, you can see I've got some spell charges. We'll talk about that more as we go along. Got some steel armor there, that's pretty good. And a steel sword. My status looks pretty good. You can see your attack power, defense power, and uh, all that stuff. And you can also save your game. So, save the game. And you can save pretty much anywhere. You can you can save pretty much anywhere uh, on the, uh, in this game. So, all right, let's head over this way, head into Foresta. All right, and here we are in Foresta. And pay attention to the music, because this is going to be the the theme for pretty much the whole game. So, all right, let's uh, hit, start by entering this little tree house here. What do we got here? Oh, it's Kaylee's house already. What's up, Kaylee? Oh, good. There's a tree blocking the north exit of the level forest, all right? Oh, you can chop down the tree. Fantastic. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> apparently this random stranger is uh, going to come with us. Oh, but now we each had to shore the tree with her. So now this uh, Kaylee's going to just accompany this random stranger. All right, fair enough. And all right, we get Kaylee already, and she's at level three. Sweet. All right, well, let's go talk to her mom again. Oh, he forgot his captain cap. Well, do you have it? Maybe we can give it back to him. And there's a treasure chest. Okay, so this is not actually a treasure chest. It's more of like a little... I'm going to call it a, a treasure box. Actually, I'm just not, not going to even call it a treasure box. I'm just going to call it a box. Because uh, those actually can be replenished uh, if you were to leave and re-enter. And I don't know if it's re-enter the, uh, the village or re-enter the... Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. Is it back? Okay, yeah. So, notice how it's gone, but if I, but if I am to, and I'll show you this real fast, uh, if I'm actually to leave the village, and go back in, and go back into the house here, uh, and you just go up, and we'll dribble mom, you'll notice that the treasure box has been, or the box has been refilled, and you get more potions, so you can pretty much do this over and over and over again, um, until you can get maxed up, so I'm just going to fill up my life there. All right, very good. If you talk to Kaylee's mom, she just says take care. All right, very good. So let's see here. I'm gonna walk around Forsta a little bit. And uh, you're really just a child. What? But you look old. Hmm, something must be odd. There's another old guy. Well, there's just a bunch of old people running around. Strange trees are growing in the level forest. Oh, maybe we should deal with that. Ah, in the bone dungeon. But of course we can't get there yet. So, uh, let's see what else is going around. Okay, there's another box, but we can't get to it because it's blocked by trees. Let's see what's going on in this house. And if we walk up here... Oh, there's some kids in another box. So, I'll get some cure potions. Cool. Can we save all four crystals? I bet we can. Nope, now that's not the bed I want. And if I go in one of these beds, I think this is the one. Yeah, I go into here. Yep. You're automatically filled with all of your life, if you need it. But, you know, I just use those potions, so you can use either way. It also refills your magic. Uh, if you want to go to that bed there. So it's a free instinct, so that's pretty cool. All right, let me uh, check my time real quick, and I'll be right back and see if I can explore any more of this town. Okay, I think I have just enough time to finish exploring this town. Um, this The thing about this game... Oh, by the way, we'll go over here and notice that... Um, thanks for the help. Oh, this must be the old dude who's, uh, you know, whose help we... Uh, or the guy that we helped get back to his village. Now, you'll notice that that way is blocked by barrels. But if you go around this way... You'll notice there's it looks like there's a little path back there. So if we just go up here and jump, 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 we go back to this hidden passage back here, and we found ah the cure magic. Now notice there's a treasure chest there. Now the cure spell can't be recovered over and over and over again. You can only get it one time, but you only need it one time because you can use it over and over again. So all right, let's head over here. Uh, I would say okay, so we can't really do anything in this water here. So I would say that this game right here is. Pretty much the most basic of any RPG ever invented. So, if you really uh, want to know how to play an RPG and the characteristics of an RPG, I would say play this game. And we'll talk more about why that is uh, as we go along. So, the reason I want to do this game is because it's so introductory. Basically, I'm going to provide the world with a tutorial on how to play RPGs. So, if you ever you know want to introduce RPGs to your friends, tell them to do this game. Plus, again, also, you know, it's kind of a follow-up to Final Fantasy Legend 3, which I've already LP'd, so. All right, well, that's all we can do here in this town, but I'm almost out of time. 
So uh, we will get going through the level forest in the next episode. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.